Hey friends, division, estimating quotients of decimals. So this is super similar to estimating products of decimals, but we just have one page, just again, compatible numbers. Just like our video about um, estimating with multiplication, estimating with division is just an exercise in using compatible numbers. So let's look at this, 183.9. Can we round that to 180? 180? Yeah, let's say we can. 3 and 18 are compatible. 3 times 6 is 18. So, check this out. Let's say uh, equals 60. 3 times 60 is 180, so it's going to be right in there. Maybe, maybe we could even say, just even guess again, 61. 3 times 3 is, or 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 6 is 18, so that's 183. Uh, it's right there. Estimate. Okay, 48 and 12. 12 times 4 is 48. It's a compatible number. So, 481 divided by 12 is going to be 40. Isn't that cool? Right in there. And the 40 times 12 is, 100, is 480. So, really close. That's a good estimate. Ooh, what about if we did this? Let's round down. And let's say 35 divided by 5 is 7. Right? Instead of rounding up to 40, now 7 is closer to, 35 is closer to 36. Then 40 is to 36, so our answer 7, 7 times 5 is 35, is closer than 8 times 5 is 40. Okay, ah, this is, this is good. 4 times 2 is 8, right? So instead of saying, let's round down to 80, 84, or what about this? If, what if we round to... 88 divided by 4 equals 22. See, we just rounded. We're, we're, we're finding which numbers are compatible. 4 and 8 are always compatible. So 88 divided by 4 is 22. That's it. Quick video. Um, practice on compatible numbers and on rounding and estimating. Have a great day, everyone.